this is exciting. I just turned off battery saver mode. I told you, I told you that there, there could be some features that were being compromised by the fact that I was saving some battery to later. <laughs> so I turned it off just to see if I would notice anything. And of course now I won't, I won't until I have my production meeting. I'm just kidding. There's no meeting. There's no meeting. If there were a meeting, I'd be schizophrenic and well, let's face it, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just a little animated. I'm just a little animated at times. And people have <laughs> misunderstood my animated personality, I'm sure, with other parts. But see, they draw their own conclusions. When you're in IRL, when you're in in real life mode, they, they try to say, well, you're, you must be you. this or that. Try to make TV diagnoses, something they've heard some other person say because because I have because I'm because I happen to have a little emphasis on things I say. And, you know, I've been accused of having mental conditions. I have. I don't have any fucking mental condition. Please. I went through, watch this, the school system where I was working actually had the audacity to challenge my mental fitness. They did it officially. They did it. They had me go do a battery, an exam with a guy, with a, with a psychiatrist. And in the end, it was a pretty good experience for me. It took a lot of my time. The secretary, the assistant was very cute. She was sort of Eastern European. She was lovely. So I was hoping in the end, of course, that she would say, let's go do coffee. Because I like coffee. I do. But she didn't, and we didn't. But regardless, it was a pretty good scene because I got to even, I even went right back to work. Well, I was on administrative leave for a hot minute. And he had even said when our session, when we were done, it, it was literally better, better part of half a more, more than half a day, probably the whole time I was at his office, either sitting there waiting. And I, I realized that I was also being tested. So going in, knowing the full time that I had to just be patient, no matter what I had to do. So the whole thing wasn't an examination with him. Some of it was just answering. There was like this huge questionnaire that I had to answer. And I had to do it properly. I had to give it its due diligence and I did it. I did it. It was hundreds of questions. An assessment, so I took it, and in the end, he uh, he said, "You know, I'll have the report done in a couple of days." I said, "Well, Doc, you can please take your time, do what you got to do, because I'm on administrative leave, and this is delicious because I'm, I don't have to go do anything right now, and I'm on full salary while I was on administrative leave." And so he did. He took his time too. I think. From the couple days he told me that it was going to be, I think it was an additional week and change after that. They finally called me back and said, all right, well, we're going to have you show up to work and go do your, they had me doing, I was doing phone receptionist work for the department down where they, where all the school lunch decisions are made. So that was, I guess, that was how I ended up spending it was once I, once I had my classroom taken from me. I told you I'd make a video about that. I'm not going all into that right yet. I will. I'll get to it. I will. There's so much I have to say. I like. I don't literally feel like when I start these videos that I have a million things to say. It's just that I do. I know that I do because if I were to focus on that, of course you would know that's really overwhelming. And I'm, I'm not overwhelmed by the fact that I have a lot to say. I have a lot of time right now. So I'm taking my time, I'll, I'll say things. You know I will. You know I'm going to say things. Isn't this pretty? Watch this. See, of course, you know I'm doing this with my phone. And you would think I can see what I'm doing. I can't tell. I'm just trying to place some sort of center look at this. And... But you see, it's beautiful here. Hold on a second. The other day, the, the great thing 
there's a there's a great thing to this place too. I haven't shared this. I don't have to dig a hole to go take a poo. I can just go I can just go poo. What are we looking at down there? You see them? Anyway, I, I was in the thing and I was I was either finishing up poo and something, whatever. But my sunglasses fell off my head, and nearly fell right into the friggin' thing, and you just know I wouldn't really care to get those back after if they had really fallen into that. Ha! Ah. So thankfully I had my, my hands, my second baseman hands, so I caught them as they fell from my head. Because they were head straight into the thing. I would have been bad with these sunglasses. These are my warm parkers. Sorry, it's not a plug. It's, this place was right next door to uh, to a Ray-Ban place uh, behind Venice. And I wanted the Ray-Ban so much, I just, I couldn't see spending that. I just couldn't. And right next door is this Warby Parker shop. And, like, I saw these and I had, I just, I had to, I had to have them. I did. They, were, they weren't even a hundred bucks. And they, they even came with a nice casing cloth. But they're warranty and they'll adjust them anytime I need them. And I'm sure they do by now because I've tossed them around a good bit. I'm sure I even sat on them. But they're, they're lovely. I do. I like them. But I'm not into possessions. I'm not. This is, this is the most I've spent on sunglasses in a while. I, I've been spending 40 exactly. Because that's what I could get some decent... Uh, whatever, whatever they do, the polarization, so that, it, so that it looks like you're looking for something instead of just whatever crap you get for ten dollars. The ten dollar glasses you can always tell. The ten dollars, look, nothing really special happens. When you look through forty dollar glasses or better, everything just looks better compared, you know, with the, with the amount of light. It just does. It's true. You know, I don't lie. I just all I do is tell it like it is. You know, it's true. Anyway, thank you for watching.